I'm Army Staff Sergeant Blake Deloach. I was injured by a rocket propelled grenade, resulting in the loss of my eyesight. This is my wife, Lauren, and we met through the Blind Rehabilitation Service out of the VA in Augusta, Georgia. We were introduced and after training, we were friends and started dating and then, you know, next thing you know, we're, we got married. This is Mason. He's a yellow lab retriever mix and uh, he helps me. He's a seeing eye dog. I met Blake when he was at the end of his blind rehab program. I felt like I'd known him my whole life. We had a lot of similarities, even though we had a lot of differences. I thought there was no way I'd ever have a shot that, you know, someone like that was out of my league. I was going through some very, very, very hard times, not just blindness. I mean, there was a lot of things going on. And even through that, I mean, she accepted that and still wanted to have something to do with me. So. To see, to see the something good in someone at their worst is just something that you don't find. I try every day just to give a little bit back, and I know I'll never equal that, but you know, she's given me that on a day-to-day -day basis. Since I was this tall, I wanted to be military. It was just, I wanted to serve my country. The day we got injured, we were up in the mountains of Afghanistan, and the guy, was about was up on the high ground. We got ambushed by about 60 people, and um, he shot my vehicle with RPG. And luckily, you know, we didn't lose anybody. Nobody died. I took very, very, very severe trauma to my to my neck and my head, and my vision was gone instantly. That was the last thing I saw. And luckily, I stayed conscious through the whole thing, and we 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 adapted. We overcame and we fought our way out of that. When we got back, they put me in a chemical-induced coma for three weeks. And when I came out of it, the first question that came to my mind to ask was, how was everybody in my truck? Because I didn't know. I found out that everybody was fine. And I just remember, I just remember hitting my knees and just, I was just so thankful. That was the part of it that, that made me accept what happened to me just because you know I always told my guys if I can jump in front of a bullet or if I can take the brunt of it I want to I'll do anything I can to make sure that you guys come home and I felt like I kept my bargain <laughs> I just hope that they know me getting up every day is me still trying to, to show that you know it's not over yet I struggled with addiction for a very long time you know they had me on pain medications and stuff and I just didn't want to feel. I've been clean six months now. And it's just amazing because I just think for a long time that that good that Lauren saw in me originally was, was what, she, this is what she's been holding out for, is this part of me that, you know, that I didn't, I didn't see. I didn't see it because I was, I didn't care to, I didn't want to. Or I didn't believe that, you know, that I deserved to be labeled as a good person. You know, I promised her to give to give her the best part of me that I could when we got married. And I truly think that I'm doing that now. In a home from Homes for Our Troops, it's gonna free up a lot of time for us to actually hopefully focus and push forward into further an education. Or like for me, you know, like I, I wanna set one of the rooms up so that I can keep pursuing this powerlifting career that I'm in. Lauren, she does artwork. You know, she's an artist, so it'll give us the, the, the space and a home. It'll just give us a home, a, a sense of belonging, that, that first block you need to really feel like you're home. People underestimate the importance of a home, like that on so many levels, from just like your basic shelter and the psychological side of it too is like super important. And I think once you have that met, like so many other things are possible. I would look forward to like the the magnets to keep the doors open all the way. That's that's just one of the small things you don't really think about, but I mean it really does make a huge difference. Having a shower that he can walk in without and have something with flooring that's safe, that will give me a lot of comfort knowing that the home is accessible from the shower to the toilet to just being able to get around safely and and having a home that's safe. I want to do what blind people aren't 
picture doing. I went and got my scuba diving license after I lost my vision. I taught myself the guitar. And now, you know, I'm, I'm a power lifter. We make a good team and, you know, I look forward to seeing, you know, what else he ends up doing with his life. Whether that means becoming a power lifter or going back to school, you know, whatever he ends up doing, I think he'll be successful. And I definitely love him and I'm gonna keep him around. <laughs> Homes for our troops is where that first step starts. This is where your life begins again. It has given you that foundation. It has given you that rock. There aren't there, there are no words. There, there's nothing that I could say that that could ever equal the amount of gratitude, the the just the emotional, just in my heart feeling that this program is putting out there. And all I would want to do is I just want to be able to give back.